Welcome to Movie Caps. Today I will show you a thriller, crime, action film from 2013 titled Homefront. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. A biker gang enters a bar and goes in the back into a secret lab. Dalton gets off the phone and says the plane is ready to go. The gang leader, Danny, orders them to start packing up. The DEA shut off the power and move in. A shootout ensues. Dalton starts fighting the gang members and Danny realizes that he's a rat. Danny and his son drive off in a car with Dalton in pursuit. Their car turns around due to a roadblock and Dalton slides off the bike and fires some rounds. He drags Danny out of the car and pins him to the ground. Danny's son doesn't drop his gun so Dalton shoots him in the knee. He taunts the cops and pretends to reach for a gun so the police unleash a hail of bullets. As Danny is dragged away he threatens to kill Dalton and his family. Two years later, Dalton's daughter Maddie is doing her thing in the school playground when a fat kid steals her hat. She asks for it back, but the bully pushes her to the ground. She gets up and smacks him in the nose. When Dalton goes to pick her up from school, the bully's mom, Cassie, somehow thinks her son was wronged and lashes out at him. The school's psychologist assures him that Maddie is a good girl and inquires about them moving to such a remote town. In the parking lot Cassie convinces her husband, Jimmy, to do something. He starts insulting Maddie and when Dalton turns his back, he tries to hit him, but Dalton drops him to the ground, humiliating him further. As they are leaving, Cassie stares him down. In the truck she calls her husband a wussy. He says he just lost his balance and his son supports him saying he tripped as well. Cassie's brother, Gator, visits some local teenage tweakers and threatens them to stop cooking in his territory. When he gets home, Cassie tries to convince him to teach Dalton a lesson and asks for some dope. The next day the psychologist suggests Dalton to smooth things out since people in this town tend to hold a grudge. He goes to the dock and apologizes to Jimmy for the trouble he and Maddie caused for them. Later at a gas station, two of Gator's goons try to intimidate him. Dalton says they're making a big mistake and suggests they rethink whatever they're thinking. He goes back to pumping gas, but they keep talking until one of them tries to grab Dalton's hand. He smacks his head in the glass and kicks down the other guy. After some more kicks and punches they're both laying on the ground. Dalton asks who sent them, but they don't answer. As Gator is cooking stuff in his lab, he gets a call from the goons and is shocked that they failed their mission. He goes to Dalton's place himself, and when they go out on a horse ride, he slashes a tire and enters the house. He steals Maddie's toy rabbit and goes to the basement where he finds a bunch of files. He realizes that Dalton is an ex-DEA agent and also steals their cat before he leaves. In the evening Maddie is worried when she can't find the cat. Dalton goes looking for him and discovers the slashed tire and also finds the rabbit's head. Meanwhile Gator reads the file he took and learns about the gang Dalton had infiltrated. He calls Cheryl and tells her to come over. The next morning Dalton goes to threaten the confused Jimmy again, thinking it was his doing. Meanwhile Gator and Cheryl figure out that Dalton is probably just laying low in this town and devise a plan to give him up to the gang in exchange for their distribution network, but Cheryl is hesitant due to her contact in the gang being a creep. Dalton gives his daughter a new rabbit and they discuss her upcoming birthday and decide to have a birthday party with the whole class to smooth things out. Cheryl goes to see the gang leader's lawyer and gives him the file saying it's a gift. The lawyer then visits the gang leader. Danny, who still holds a massive grudge towards the man he thinks is responsible for his son's death, tells the lawyer to take care of it. At school, Maddie invites her bully to the party. Cassie is a little taken aback but ultimately says it's his decision and he accepts. Tito arrives with some planks to replace the worn out stairs and says he heard about the incident with the bully and his dad. Dalton says that's old news, they already made up, but Tito doubts that, saying it never goes away that easily. Dalton comments how someone broke into their house but Tito says it definitely wasn't Jimmy, he doesn't have the guts for that, but it could have been his wife's brother Gator. He also warns him to be careful, since the word is that he's cooking dope. Later in the day, the kids sing happy birthday to Maddie and the bully seems to have come out of his shell. Cassie later picks him up and things seem to have worked out between them. Meanwhile, Cheryl meets up with Cyrus from the biker gang to discuss the details. He asks what's in it for her and she tells him about the distribution plan. He doesn't confirm that they have a deal and just asks her where to find Dalton. Gator goes to warn his sister to stay away from Dalton from now on. She asks if he got any dope on him and when he says he doesn't, she loses it and they start screaming at each other. Meanwhile her son hears all of this. As Gator leaves, Jimmy asks him not to give her dope anymore because she's falling apart. Dalton gets a call from a DEA agent who has gotten information he requested. He tells him about Gator's criminal history as well as Cheryl who has ties with the biker gang and is hanging out in their town all of a sudden. Next morning Dalton goes to have a word with Gator in the restaurant Tito mentioned. He warns him to not mess with them anymore and Gator acts clueless. When he walks out he receives a picture of Cheryl and realizes he might be in trouble. 
Dalton scopes out Gator's place and discovers the hidden lab in his boathouse. He finds packages of white stuff and confirms that Gator is up to no good. So he drills holes and fills the light bulbs with some fuel and sets the rest of the cans on the table for good measure. As he leaves, he finds his cat, but he is discovered by one of Gator's goons. He takes care of him and picks the cat back up, but another one knocks him out. He wakes up to being tortured by the guys from the gas station incident. They enjoy their time beating him up, drowning him and threatening his daughter. Dalton headbutts him, breaks another guy's ankle, kicks him in the water, frees his tied hands and proceeds to beat up the rest of them. When the guy who threatened his daughter attempts to get out of the water, he sends him to sleep with the fishes and leaves with the kitty. Dalton gets home and Maddie doesn't understand why they're suddenly in such a rush to leave. The biker gang arrives and Gator offers to draw them a map. Cyrus decides to get there by boat and Gator asks Cheryl why there's so many of them. He starts getting cold feet and tells them he's not going. He makes an excuse that he would be the number one suspect so he should be in a public place when it goes down, so Cyrus takes Cheryl with him instead. Gator goes into town and makes sure the sheriff sees him before heading to a bar. Dalton has asked for Tito's help to move out the horses. When the biker gang reaches the shore, they hear horse noises and Cyrus sends one of his men to check it out. He goes to the stables, gun in hand but Tito ambushes him. They start rolling around and beating each other up until the guy knocks him down and goes for his gun, but Tito impales him with a pitchfork. He goes to his car and honks the horn alerting Dalton, but another gang member shoots him down. Dalton shuts off the lights and calls for Maddie and the biker gang starts moving in on the house. He brings her to the basement and tells her to call 911 and hide. He goes upstairs and grabs a shotgun. Maddie starts making the call but a man is near so she hangs up. When the bikers kick open the door, they are met by Dalton's shotgun. Maddie gasps and the man goes after her, while Dalton turns the bikers into Swiss cheese. She runs into the woods with the man still in pursuit. Dalton sees this but is unable to follow due to Cyrus constantly firing bullets. Eventually he manages to hit Cyrus and starts running. The man catches up to Maddie and aims his gun but Dalton shows up at the right time and ends him. As they stare at each other, thinking it's all over, Cyrus tackles him and Dalton tells Maddie to keep running. She reaches the dock and asks Cheryl for help. Meanwhile Dalton beats up Cyrus and stabs him with his own knife. By the time he reaches the dock, Cheryl is already leaving in the boat and Maddie is screaming for help. The police arrive and ask what's going on and he explains that six men broke into their house and kidnapped his daughter. Tito miraculously shows up and the sheriff calls an ambulance. Maddie has been put in the boat's cargo hold and called the cops. The dispatcher connects her to Dalton and she describes Cheryl's appearance and begs him to get her out of there. Dalton instructs her to stay calm and look for something sharp. He tells the sheriff to track his phone and dispatch a chopper. Maddie calls again and says they've docked and describes Gator's boathouse. Dalton immediately gets in a car and speeds towards it. Cheryl tries to get her out but she stabs her hand. Gator shows up and asks why she would bring a witness here, calling her mentally challenged. Cassie also shows up and asks if he heard about the shooting. He acts clueless, but Maddie starts screaming. Cassie turns on the lights to see what's going on and the lab explodes. She grabs Maddie and tries to take her to the car, but Gator starts going off on her, saying she's the one that started it all. His gun goes off and he ends up shooting his own sister. He grabs Maddie and gets in his car. Dalton has finally arrived and chases after them. Police are also in pursuit and the sheriff orders to open the bridge. Gator still drives on it and Dalton barely makes it, flipping his car in the process. Gator approaches the police car with a gun and Maddie starts begging him to stop, grabbing his attention. This gives Dalton a chance to get the jump on him and he starts beating him up in rage. He puts a gun to Gator's head and sees Maddie crying. He calms down and tells Gator she just saved his life. Cassie is in an ambulance and Cheryl is arrested. Dalton and Maddie go home. Sometime later, Danny gets another visitor and is shocked to see Dalton. See you outside Danny, I'll be waiting. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.